Hey everyone, I am your fave nurse B. Thanks for coming back to my channel. In today's video, I want to talk about the coronavirus, also known by its government name as COVID-19. I know you all have already had a large dose of media letting you know about this virus, all the risks, people going out there buying up Walmart and Aldi and Target and all that jazz, people running out of toilet paper, all this in the jazz. So I know you have already seen it and a lot of people are scared or frightened. They don't know what to think. Uh, people are thinking about, you know, money issues. Are they going to pay their bills? Are they going to go out of business? Like, what are they going to eat? Like, there has been some big pandemonium about this freaking virus. But I just wanted to talk about it because I got a few requests. Plus, one of my friends was like, have you heard that um, some places are doing coronavirus nursing? Like, they want like nurses to come help out with the coronavirus. So, I did some research to see like what that was all about and I want to talk about that but I also want to give you all like some of my experience so far um, what I've seen and because I have been picking up some shifts I work as an agency nurse in long-term care I picked the most inopportune time to pick up I know but I have seen a few things um, in the nursing home that I did pick up at so I want to talk about that but let's just get into the video let me know if you have any questions put them in the comment section let's just talk about it because I haven't really seen any nurses talking about this here on YouTube so I was like you know what let me get a people a little something a little something something okay so the first thing that we know as nurses healthcare providers doctors respiratory therapists especially especially respiratory therapists um people who work you know in acute medicine uh, urgent cares emergency rooms like anybody in the healthcare field really is out here putting themselves at risk to help other people who could potentially have this virus. Now, at this point, from what I've heard and what I've seen, it's really affected people who are over a certain age, so like 60 plus, and then it did affect, from what my husband was telling me, one person who was already immunocompromised did um, pass away from this disease. As far as like fatal, um, having fatal, endings to it that's how many people has been affected so far that we know of because some people are probably dying from it and haven't even been tested and we don't even know if that's you know what's the cause of their death so if you are working with immunocompromised patients which that's a lot of patients older patients like you are putting yourself at risk because they could really be carrying it they could die from it you could be caring for them while they're having this virus in their system and you could be having it in your system and not even know like it's plenty of workers out here who have had to be self-quarantined because they worked with patients didn't know that the, that the patient had it and now they're off of work being self-quarantined but on the flip side of that my friend has shown me like a post on facebook she was like be a coronavirus nurse and make such and such per week and i was like what she said do a video i was like okay that was like two weeks ago then i actually did some research i could not find a listing of like actual pay but I did go through and did some research and I'm seeing that some travel agencies um, are getting travel nurses to go out and do like um, screening for coronavirus. Um, also, they're, ask, they're asking for paramedics and EMTs, LPNs, and RNs to do screening for coronavirus. My question is, would you do it? Now, as a healthcare worker, you're pretty much already at risk, right? Like, you don't know if your patient has it, is carrying it, you know, you don't know, you're already at risk. So would you be willing to screen people, basically have them answer the questions, probably test them for all that jazz, like basically literally putting yourself right there in it, the midst of it for a little extra coinage. Are you willing to do that? Let me know in the comment section right now. So I did do a little bit of research. I'm gonna tell you how much they were talking about paying. Um, coronavirus nurses or COVID-19 screeners. So this says full-time paramedic, LVN or LPN, and an RN, this is a screener, and then da 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 It's an employer-based occupational health clinic setting in Charlotte, uh, North Carolina. And then I'm looking at the insights. Y'all, they ain't trying to pay nothing. They said the average salary, so they're not really telling how much they're gonna pay for this position, but they said like the average salary for LPNs is $22.52. That's average in general, but how much are you, are you gonna give me extra money to come and screen people or do you just want me to come do it and just get my regular pay? So that's that. That's something that I found on Indeed. But then I also looked um, at travel agency, travel nursing, my nose um and these are just like 
regular travel nurse jobs, 3,600, 3,100 a week. Now that's not saying coronavirus travel nurse, but I'm sure, and it may even get to that point where, I don't know for sure you all, I'm just speculating, but it might get to the point where they have like a pop-up clinic or they have parts or wings and hospitals that are just for patients who have this virus. And there's workers who only work in that area and they probably have to be screened like heavily. They probably have to, you know, have on all their PPE plus some more droplet precaution type stuff on. Like it may get to that point. And I'm not doing this video to scare you all. I'm just we just talking about it because we see it on the media. We hear our friends and family talking about it. So why not talk about it in the healthcare arena? You know, your fave nurse beat like, comment, and subscribe. So yeah, it might get to that point and they probably will pay more travel nurses more money to come there. Probably pay for their food, all that jazz to come and to help people because at some point, healthcare workers are gonna get sick from this or they're gonna be exposed to it, like I said before, and have to be self-quarantined. So that's gonna make the shortage of nursing professionals that we already have even shorter. So of course, the increase in pay to come to these areas, that's gonna increase. I bet these hospitals gonna be taking LPNs then, huh? <laughs> to come and work in these areas. So it might get to that point. Tell me you all, let's just speculate a little bit. I'm not here to like make everybody scared, but just, just let's just imagine what do you think it might get to as far as you know in the healthcare arena i know that i did pick up a few shifts like i said at a long-term care facility and uh honey this happened <laughs> as soon as i walked through the door i'm like why is this here like really i get it though because you know people are like going hand buying hand sanitizer and lysol and bleach and toilet paper like i went to the store I got a roll of toilet paper, like a like I don't know, a nine roll of toilet paper. That's what they had. And I still had some here. I bought some food. I haven't gone crazy. Um like I got bleach at home. Like I don't really need these things because I don't leave like I, I'm a stay-at-home mom. I work from home. Like we good. Like I don't have to take my kids out if I don't want to. Like, and if we do, we'll wash our hands with soap and water. We got hand sanitizer. Like I don't feel too crazy about it. And if I do go to work and pick up shifts they're gonna have this stuff at the job. So I don't I don't feel that like like I have to get it. But I get from some people's perspective that's what they feel like they need to do. So go ahead and do it. But from my perspective, I don't really see the need for that on my end. But you all let me know. Are you feeling the pressure to go out and like do it and get all this stuff? And are you feeling like afraid or are you um panicking a little bit? Like what's going on in your mind? I would love to freaking know. Like let this comment section go ham i want to know what you all think about it because i have not seen anybody in our community talk about it um at least not in an informal way like this on youtube so let me know but anyways i picked up the shift that happened and then i had quickly found out that the facility was no longer taking visitors so like i said um, i work in long-term care um, as an agency nurse and i just picked up a few shifts and the elderly population is really, really at risk because their immune system is already lower than ours. Um, they're not eating as much as we're eating. They're not taking in the right amount of nutrients. They don't get a lot of sunlight. So their immune system is lower and lower and lower compared to us. They're probably not being hydrated properly. And then on top of that, they already have other comorbidities such as diabetes, being obese, being um, having kidney failure, having heart failure, already having a history of respiratory issues, COPD, pneumonia, asthma, all of these things that that population has already been through, the virus, honey, is just like the icing on the cake. Like this is the last thing that they need. So I totally understand that in these facilities, they wanna prevent people from coming in as much as possible. So I'm gonna do a separate video talking about some things you can do to protect yourself, to protect your patients as much as possible. Like what I did while I was on my shift throughout the day um, to just, expedite not expedite things but just to make it a smoother shift and make myself feel more comfortable knowing that this virus could be potentially out there in the population base that i was taking care of and making sure that i was not then bringing that home to my children and to my husband so i'll do a separate video talking about that but um yeah the shift wasn't that bad at all that i worked um i just saw that and i was like oh i just had to chuckle honey i had to chuckle over that but let me know what you all think would you be a coronavirus nurse basically would you be like a screener for patients would you take care of these patients if it was like maybe they had one area that they quarantined in the hospital 
um, or even in the nursing home, would you be out there on the front lines taking care of people? Let me know what do you think about the economy? Do you feel like the economy is gonna get to a point where things are really unstable? It's probably already getting that way because schools are closing. I'm here in Missouri. Schools just closed yesterday in Illinois, which is literally right there. I can, I can see Illinois from Missouri. That's how close Illinois is to us. And, oh, well, from St. Louis, Missouri. And um, they're closing schools. They might start closing schools here in Missouri. I don't know yet. I think from what my husband said, we've only had two or three cases here in Missouri. And my battery is going low. Something else I want to add. I talked to a girl at the job and she was saying she's in school right now for nursing. And they closed her school. Like, there's no more classes right now. They said they're going to do everything online. I'm like, how are they going to do that? She's like, I don't know what they're going to do. They haven't really told us any plans yet. But at least some schools at this time are going on spring break. So it gives schools some time to really decide how they're going to do things and, you know, all that jazz. So that's something to think about. I um, I could talk some more about it if you all want to. Maybe I'll come on live and talk to you all about it. I just wanted to get out here because a lot of people have been asking me, like, what do you think of it? Are you afraid of it? Da, 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 da. I mean, I picked up some shifts, so I guess I'm not too afraid of it. And I'll tell you all what I did while I was, on, while I was working. But... Um, I'm not too afraid of it. Um, I'm not. I just think that I have a totally different idea of what I think of it that's not even like out there. Um, well, how I think of it. Um, but it really opened my eyes to a lot of things, and I hope that it opens other people's eyes to a lot of things as far as like sustainability. And that you know, at any point in time, like the government, stores, corporations can say we're not going to be putting out any more food anymore. Like we don't have any more food, and we as the people have to decide what the heck are we going to do at that point. You know, like I'm over here thinking like, okay, I want to start my veggie garden already. I eat a plant based diet already. So let me just go ahead and get this veggie garden started. I was like, why do we take in my house? It's too much work. You know what? Let me start it now because who knows? By July. There might be a shortage on vegetables because stuff isn't being shipped from California. I live in the Midwest. We don't really have, from what I know, people out here, you know, with big farms that are local. We might, we might not. I don't know. I know a lot of stuff is getting shipped from other parts of the U.S. and other parts of the world. So let me just get my veggie garden together, save my coins, and get me some freaking kale or something. So if something come down, me and my kids got some squash or something to eat. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Well, let me know what you all think. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I would love to see your comments, what you think. Would you work as a coronavirus nurse if they was going to pay you like 4 k a week? Would you do it? And they pay like your lunch and probably give you somewhere to stay. Would you go and travel to a state and do it like to D.C. and be a coronavirus nurse? Would you do it? Let me know. They probably need CNAs too, patient care techs, to do it as well at some point. It might get to that point, but I think since people are so panicky, it might not get to that point because people are already like saying, I ain't going nowhere. So it might not get to that point. Um, people are already scared. So let me know what you all think. And we did leave out the house today. We went actually to a play date. Um, it was like three or four other pa uh, families. I was about to say patients, honey. I'm still in nurse mode. But it was three other families there. And we went to this play place and the kids had fun. They was playing. It was like, I mean, you still got to live your life, really. But that's that. Let me know what you all think. All right, y'all. Peace. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Go to my website, yourfavnursery.com. If you're still in nursing school, I got nursing school notes up for sale, as well as study templates. And go follow me on Instagram at yourfavnursebee, number one. Peace.